have a good day, sir. My name is John Abigail and this third year Black Book Beast Criminology. Today, we will tackle the recognizance. So, dito, malalaman natin kung paano ito makakatulong sa mga akusado at kung ano nga ba ang nilalaman ng batas na ito. So, Republic Act No. 10389 is an act institutionalizing recognizance as a mode of granting the release of an indigent person in custody as an accused in a criminal case and for other purposes. It was enacted by the Senate and the House of Representatives of the Philippines in Congress. So next, here's the definition of recognizance. Recognizance is a mode of securing the release of any person in custody or detention for the commission of an offense who is unable to post bail due to abject poverty. So ito nga po, ito po ay binibigay lamang sa mga taong walang sapat na pera na kung saan hindi po sila makakapagbigay ng upang mabigyan sila ng pansamantalang paglaya dahil po sa kahirapan. The court where the case of such person has been filled shall allow the release of the accused on recognizance as provided herein. The custody of a qualified member of the barangay, city, or municipality where the accused reside. So, ito pa, so ito po, kailangan po nila ng isang taong mag-garantor. So, yung maaaring punin po nilang garantor is the barangay or isa po siya sa member ng, ng barangay, city or municipality where the accused reside. Kung saan po, nandun po nakatira yung isang akusado. So next, duty of the courts. For the purpose of stability and uniformity, the court shall use their discretion in determining whether an accused should be deemed in an indigent even if the salary and property requirements are not met. The courts may also be considered the capacity of the accused to support not just himself or herself but also his or her family or other people who are dependent on him or her for support and subsistence. Other relevant factors and conditions demonstrating the financial incapacity of the accused at that time that she or he is facing charges in court may also be considered by the court for the purpose of covering as many individuals belonging to marginalized and poor sectors of society. So, ang pinaka-purpose po dito ng court is para mabigyan po ng pansamantalang paglaya yung mga akusado, maging mahirap man po sila umayaman. So, magkakaroon po sila ng pantay na karapatan, maging ikaw man ay mayaman o mahirap. Hindi po ito sila sintensyado. Mapapalaya sila na kung saan may nakalaki po itong mga kondisyones. Release on recognizance as a matter of right guaranteed by the Constitution. The release on recognizance of any person in custody or detention for the commission of an offense is a matter of right when the offense is not punishable by death, reclusion perpetua, or life imprisonment, provided that the accused or any persons on behalf of the accused fans the application for such as before or after conviction by the Metropolitan Trial Court, Municipal Trial Court, Municipal Trial Court, or City and Municipal Circuit Trial Court, and before conviction by the Regional Trial Court, provided further that the persons in custody for a period equal to or more than the minimum of the principal penalty prescribed for the offense charge without application of the indeterminate sentence law or any modifying circumstance shall be released on the person's recognizance. So, yung taong mag a po or para mabigyan po siya ng recognizance, kailangan po hindi po siya punishable by the death, by death or yung reclusion perpetua or life imprisonment or yung habang buhay na pagkakabilanggo. So, provided the doctors or any persons on behalf of accused past application. So, pwede po yung, yung mag-apply po nito is yung yung akusado mismo. So, pamamagitan po ng kanyang lawyer. Pwede din po yung loved ones or the behalf of the accused. So, before or before or bago at pagkatapos ng conviction by the Metropolitan Trial Court, pwede po itong i-apply para po siya ay mabigyan ng release. Here are the requirements. So, the competent court where a criminal case has been built against a person covered under the actual upon motion, order the release of the detained persons on recognizance to a, con to a qualified custodian, provided that all the following requirements are complied with a sworn declaration by the person in custody of his or her indigency or incapacity either to post a motion for the adaptations of resolution for purpose of this act duly made 
big before the sanggunian shall be considered as an any urgent matters and shall take precedence over any other business thereof provided that the special session shall be called to consider such proposed resolution if necessary. The resolutions of the sanggunian shall include in its resolution a list of recommended organization from whose members the court may appoint to custodian. The presiding officers of the Sangguni and shall ensure that its secretary shall submit any resolution adopted under this act within 24 hours. So 24 hours lang po dapat ay magibigay ito sa mayor who shall act within the same period of time from the receipt thereof. If the mayor or any person acting as such first one to law face to act instead precept thereof the same shall be deemed to have been acted upon favorable by the mayor. For the purpose of this act, the resolutions of the Sangguni and of the municipality or city shall be considered final and not subject to the review of the Sangguni and Panlalawigan, a copy of which shall be forwarded to the trial court within three days from date to resolution. So ito po, kailangan po mag-iwan ng copy ang Sangguni ang Panlalawigan. So, so, sa sangkuni na kung saan i -re recall po ito ng korte yung motion na ipapainal ng akusado or the behalf of the accused. Ipapainal po sa korte. Saka i -re refer po yan doon sa municipal or city sangkunian para tanungin kung okay ba yung taong yan. Ngayon, aaprobahan po ito ng mayor. Tapos ibabalik ito sa korte. So, may, ayan, may maaaring prosesong magaganap po dito. Kapag ito po ay naaprobahan ng korte, palalayain siya sa ilalim ng parole, probation, administration. So, this, so ito po, babanggitin natin yung mga disqualification for release on recognizance. Yung hindi po pwede mabigyan ng recognizance. Any of the following circumstances shall be valid ground for the court to disqualify and abuse from availing of the benefit provided her end. So, first, yung disqualification po for this constitution. The accused bad made a fraudful statement in his or her sworn affidavit prescribed under section. So, yung person who comes to din na gumawa po ng false statement. So, yung mali po, yung nagsisinungaling po siya sa kanyang affidavit. Next, by the circumstances of reiteration. So, person in custody, kung siya po ay recidivist, was a recidivist, or habitual recidivist, at mga nakagawa na nagkaroon ng kasutulad na na serious injury, tapa, robbery, theft, at iba pa within the period of 10 years or 18, or yung paulit-ulit na pagawa ng krimen. committed a crime while on probation, parole, or under conditional pardon. So, yun po yung mga akusado na, na nag-commit po ulit ng crime under the probation or binibigyan po sila no, yung parole or probation or under conditional pardon. Next, the personal circumstances of the accused or nature of the facts surrounding his or her case indicate the probability of life if released on recognizance. So, ito po yung, yung tao pong maaring tumakas or escape from legal confinement. So, yun po, bawal din po yun sila. Next, the personal circumstances of the accused nature of the facts surrounding his or her case indicate the probability of flight. Yun po yung probability. Yun na po pala yung pinaliwanag ko kanina. Next, there is a great risk that accused may commit another crime during the pendency of the case during the pendency of the case. Yun po yun, sa pag po sila ng crime during the pendency of their case. Last, the accused has a pending criminal case which has the same or higher penalty to the new crime she or he is being accused. The person who commit under probation parole. Next, qualification of the custodians of the person's release on recognizance. Except cases of children's and conflict with the law as provided under Republic Act No. 9344, the custodians of the person released on recognizance must have the following qualification. A person of good repute and probity, a resident of the barangay where the applicant resides, must not be a relative of the applicant within a fourth degree of consequence or affiliation.
Trinity and must belong to any of the following sectors and institutions. Church, academy, social welfare, health sector, post-oriented groups, charitable organizations, or organizations engaged in the rehabilitation of offenders duly accredited by the local social welfare and developmental officers. So yun nga po, sinasabi ko na po kanina na yung kailangan nilang mag guarantor is not governmental organization. Tulad po ng sa charges, mga price, pwede po sila yung maging guarantor. So yun po, pwede po silang makakuha ng recognizance. If no persons in the barangay where the applicant resides belongs to any of the sectors, the institution listed under paragraph D above the constituents of the person released or recognizant may be from the qualified residents of the city or municipal where the applicant resides. The duty of recognizance, the custodian shall understate the guarantee the appearance of the abuse whenever required by the court. The custodian shall be required to execute an undertaking before the court produce the abuse whenever whenever required. The said undertaking shall be part of the application for recognizance. The court shall be fully notified within a reasonable period of time. The custodian whenever the presence of the abuse is required. A penalty of six months to two years imprisonment shall be imposed upon the custodian who failed to deliver the produce the abuse before the court upon due notice with injustice viable reason. So yun nga po, kailangan na pag lilitisin na po sila sa korte, on time po, dapat andun po sila. Kung hindi, magkakaroon po sila ng penalty, which is 6 months to 2 years imprisonment. Yun po yung maaaring maging parusa nila. Next, Section 10 or Rule of the Probation Officer. Upon release of the persons in recognizance to the custodian, the court shall issue in order directing the probation office concerned to monitor and evaluate the activity 